Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna discuss about bone grafting. In this video, we'll talk about bone grafting, its indication, and its types. So, without wasting further time, let's get started. We start with the basic. So, the definition of bone grafting says that a bone graft is a surgical processor used to fix problems with bones or joints. So, बोन ग्राफ्टिंग एक सर्जिकल प्रोसेसर होता है जिसे हम यूज करते हैं बोन्स की और जॉइंट्स की प्रॉब्लम को फिक्स करने के लिए इट इज द सर्जिकल मेथड दैट रिप्लेस्ड बोन मिसिंग इट इज द ट्रांसप्लांटेशन ऑफ बोन टिश्यू इट इज एन ऑपरेशन इन व्हिच पीसेस ऑफ बोन व्हिच इज बोन ग्राफ्ट टेकन फ्रॉम अदर पार्ट एंड आर रिप्लेस्ड एट द अनदर साइड व्हिच मींस दैट वी टेक द बोन ग्राफ्ट फ्रॉम वन पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी एंड रिप्लेस्ड एट द अनदर साइड नेक्स्ट indication of bone grafting fractures number 1 is fracture especially if they are not healing second point states that non union to promote union to understand this point we should know what is non union fracture so non union of bone is the body's inability to heal a fracture number 3 filling of defects or the cavity in a bone next mechanism of bone growth There are three categories: osteogenesis, osteoinduction, and osteoconduction. In osteogenesis, it is the process formation of the bone. Osteoinduction, it is the process by which osteogenesis is induced or is initiated. In osteoconduction, it provides the matrix to the bone for their growth. There is a note on the terminology osteoblast. So these are the cells that form new bones and. these cells work in a team to build a bone next let's move to the further type of the bone grafting bone grafting is divided into three categories autograft allograft and xenograft autograft is again further subcategorized into two categories free graft and vascularized graft allograft is also subcategorized into two categories graft taken from live donor graft taken from dead donor to make the concept clear we'll take a look of this diagram so in this diagram the difference between types of bone grafting is quite clearly visible so in next slide let's study detail of these auto grafting auto means self so in auto grafting we take the graft from one point of the body and replaced it at the other side of the same individual's body in auto grafting we take the graft from the same person auto grafting comes under the gold standard bone grafting techniques auto grafting provides higher stability and lower failure rate again auto grafting is divided into two categories free graft and vascularized graft auto means self so in auto grafting we take the graft from one point of the body and replaced it at the other side of the same individual's body auto grafting comes under the gold standard bone grafting techniques auto grafting provide higher stability and lower failure rate again auto grafting is subcategorized into two categories free graft and vascularized graft let have a look of free grafts so a graft is transplanted without its normal attachment or without its nourishing blood supply from one side to another so the main point about free graft is that these grafts are taken without their blood supply and placed at another site these are of three type cancellous cortical and cortico cancellous in cancellous bone grafting we use cancellous bone because cancellous bones has a greater ability than cortical bone to form new bone due to its larger surface area which means due to its larger surface area it has the ability to form new bone it also promote osteogenesis by helping in formation and growth of new bone its example is iliac crest this diagram shows that bone grafted is taken from the iliac crest Let's move to the cortical bone graft. In cortical bone graft, it is the protective layer which is dense and present at the outer surface. 
This type of bone is also known as compact bone. It's made up of 80% of skeletal mass and because of this it is high resistance to bending which ultimately provide stability to cortical bone. So its example is fibula. Till now we have discussed free grafts and their subparts. Now we discuss vascularized grafts. These are the grafts taken along with their blood supply. In muscle pedicle grafts, bone graft is taken with the pedicle of muscles and its blood supply. In free vascularized bone grafts, bone is taken along with blood supply. Here is a point to be noted that graft remain as it is and with the time it gets incorporated with the parent and bind much faster. So, Till this slide autografting and the subcategories is completed, so now let's move to the allograft. In this slide we gonna see about allograft. These are the grafts taken from another person of the same species. Allograft are useful in the condition when enough bone is not available from the host to be grafted. These are of two types. Number one, live donor when grafts taken from live donor. Second one is cadaveric graft which means graft are taken from the dead donor. Allograft require techniques of bone preservation. There are several other methods to preserve bone grafts but in this video we only discuss two techniques which are commonly popular. So these are freezing or graft kept preserved in bone bank. In this slide we will gonna see a quick comparison between autograft and allograft. So firstly we will pick autograft and then discuss allograft. So the first point in autograft is the same as we discussed in our previous slide. Autograft provide higher stability and lower failure rate. Because graft is again replaced to the same person so there is lower risk of infection and there is no disease, there is no risk of disease transmission and there is no risk of immune response. Autograft's expenses are low and after the procedure there are faster return of all activities. So now we discuss about allograft. It also show faster immediate post-operative recovery and less post-operative pain. Graft harvesting is not the part of the surgery because grafts are taken from another person and larger grafts are available for double reconstruction. So till here we have finished autografts and their types, allografts and a quick comparison between autograft and allograft. Xenograft Xeno means foreign. As the name suggested, in this procedure, we take the graft from the foreign species. So, in xenograft, grafts are taken from a donor of different species. Xenograft method is not commonly used. Till here, we have understood what bone grafting is. So now, a question pop in my mind. Does bone graft grow back? So, the answer is here. Bone grafting is possible. Because bone tissue has the ability to regenerate completely if space is provided for their growth. As native bone grows, it will generally replace the graft material completely resulting in a full integrated region of new bone. So the topic is over here. That is all I wanted to say to you in this video. I think I have delivered my message quite clearly and if there is anything that you would need my help on. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment below. I genuinely welcome your feedback. Please like my video and hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon as well so that you get notified about each update of my channel. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.